Hello guys and welcome back to the Crazy Minecraft video where today the villagers have gone ahead and invited us to figure out why four brand new players have joined our world. So let's go and see what they're up to. Oh, I think I figured it out. So we have the noob as well as the pro, the hacker and then finally the ultimate. Which I have a feeling underneath every single one of these circular structures they're hiding some items. So let's go and speak to the villager and let's go and see how we can help. Hello Naveed, these new players have moved into our village. They seem to be hiding something in their underground houses. Go inside each house and find out if they are dangerous players. Wait, are we going to be doing this all by ourselves? Okay, I guess we have no choice but to venture down and let's go see what we find. So the first one I want to do is the noob. So hopefully we can make our way down to this dirt structure and let's go see what he's hiding. But guys, before we go inside, it'll be really awesome if every single one of you went down below and you press the notifications bell and made sure you were subscribed. And then you'll never miss another video ever again. Oh, his house is pretty simple. So he's got loads of items around that is all dirt colored as well as a chest. Ah, perfect. Okay, let me take every single one of these items out. So he's got a full dirt set as well as some different types of TNTs as well as some spawners. So let's make our way up and let's go and see what we look like. Villager, I think the noob has some very unusual items, especially this dirt outfit. <laughs> No wonder the noob has never been able to fight any mobs. But thankfully, he's given us enough items to test out that should make the villagers super happy. So, let me go and spawn this first item right around here, which is a starting house, which I'm guessing is what the villagers would use if they were starting off. Let me build this ranch style. I think that's the best one I can do. And let's go and see what happens. Cool! This is so awesome! And it's our house! <laughs> this is going to be the best thing ever! And as you make your way through, there is literally everything you could ever need. As well as a chest full of some very unusual items. Maybe I could actually go ahead and spawn the Blenderman right inside! Whoa! No! He's burning everything down! And wait! I think he's gone ahead and teleported himself out! That is exactly what the Blenderman would go ahead and do. So let's go and try and chase him and hopefully we should be able to do this. Quickly, we're going to have to finish off every single one of these mobs before they make their way out. Whoa, and he sounds super scary as well. Let's keep going. And awesome. Perfect. We are so close. <laughs> and he's shooting fireballs absolutely everywhere. Okay, maybe we could go ahead and change things up as soon as we catch him. Ah, here we go. Let's go and get him. Whoop. He keeps on teleporting around and is making it absolutely impossible for us to go ahead and fight him. There we go. And perfect. We must be so close right now. Oh, and I think the noob was the one who's gone ahead and killed him. Thank you, noob. You are so cool. Okay, they aren't bad at all, actually. Let me just keep on going before the whole village burns down. And let me go and spawn the crappy TNT right around here that could easily explain why we've gone ahead and been given a poop sword, which is one of the most unusual swords I've ever had. Let me do the crappy TNT right here, and let's go see what happens. Quickly, run! It's going to be so poop-filled, and it's going to turn our whole world into loads of disgusting poop. Yuck, this is so bad. And I think we can even go ahead and pick up the pieces. Yep, I'm definitely finished. Let me just go ahead and do the polar wolf, which is another spawner we've been given. Whoa, and it's a wolf that we can probably go ahead and tame. But he's so big, he can't jump up single blocks. <laughs> okay, let's not give up here. Let me go ahead and do the magic haunted house. And let's go see what this one does. I'm going to spawn it right there. Whoop, and I think we've teleported inside. But I think it has spawned a very unusual house that is basically broken down. There is nothing that we could go ahead and want inside. But it is pretty decent. Maybe one day we can go ahead and fix it up. But now is our chance to go ahead, make our way to the pro, and let's go see what items he's hiding. Pro, I'm so ready. Let me throw in all these disgusting items and hopefully we should be able to do them as fast as we can. Perfect and good. Let's make our way down the pro one and hopefully he should be ready for us to figure out what he's got. Cool, this is so awesome. And wait, his house is completely empty. All he's got is some very basic parkour. So let me make my way down and good. And I've just figured out how we're going to get up. That's very challenging for us. And let's take out all these unusual items. So he's got some diamond weapons, some ladders to make our way back up, as well as some very unusual spawners, and then some structured items. Do you know what? 
Let me go and test out every single one. I think this is going to be way better than we could have ever expected. And there we go. Hopefully the pro is going to be ready for us. But I've only been given a few diamond items. I thought we were going to have so many. I do wish you would go ahead and help us. Okay, let me start spawning these items, which is going to be the zombie spider, which I'm going to spawn right here. And perfect! Whoa! Okay, let's go try and finish him off. And there we go! We've done it! The first one is super unusual. They're basically a mutation of two mobs together. Like this one is the squid and the creeper. And let's go see what happens when he blows up. Whoop! Oh, he's given us blindness for over 30 seconds. Ah, oh, let's wait until this is over. Because if not, I'll never be able to spawn these next items, which are the Enderman Creeper, which I'm going to spawn right by the style house. And perfect. And let's go see what this one does. Whoop! Okay, I think it's just a creeper that can go ahead and blow himself up and also teleport around. Let me do the zombified creeper and hopefully this one will be slightly different. Ah, it is different! I thought it was going to be a creeper that looks like a zombie. Not a player! Oh, every single one of these mobs just love blowing up. Let me do the hus spider and let's go see what this one does. Whoa! There he goes! He's instantly running off to the village, but we can't let that happen! Let's use our diamond maze to go ahead and fight him, and there we go! Perfect! Even though we've got hunger, I think we should be alright. But now's our chance to go ahead and throw these items back in that I won't be needing, and let me take out every single one of these other items, as well as our diamond glaive. Let me spawn the magic lava arena, and let's go and see if we can fight off these next few mobs inside this wonderful arena, and hopefully we should be safe. Let me do it right around here. I think this is a good spot. So we do it there, we right click, and there we go. <laughs> this is perfect. Okay, I should be able to go ahead and spawn these next one, which is the enderman skeleton. Whoa, okay. That's pretty bad. I shouldn't have gone ahead and done that as our first mob. Let me see if we can change things up. If I go ahead and do the magic torch pattern, I should be able to open up the sides. Let's do that. And there we go. Whoop. <laughs> okay, it's only cleared away dirt. That's not pretty good for us. Let me do then the magic house block. Let's go see what happens. Oh, perfect. So now we've spawned a house that should have some food inside for us. Okay, let me go and have a quick look. I never expected we have things like this ever for us. Yep, this is pretty awesome. I think I'm totally ready. And let me spawn the zombie Spider-Man Pikmin. And there we go. And hopefully it's a friendly mob that we can probably leave right inside the house. Nope, let's go fight him. Okay, here we go. Perfect and good. <laughs> ah, this is pretty bad for us, actually. Maybe I can go ahead and make things better by spawning the snow-covered house, which I'm going to spawn right here. Let's do this. And perfect. I think we're all set. So hopefully inside the chest, we should have a few basic items to go ahead and keep. But I don't see any bed, which could be pretty bad for us. And I can still hear the zombie pigment that is right around here trying to confuse us. Okay, I think I'm all set to go ahead and try out the hacker structure. So let me throw in all these items and let's go ahead and thank the pro. Pro, I'm so glad you didn't have any bad items. But I'm guessing the hacker is going to be completely different. So let's go make our way inside and let's go see what he's got. Okay, this is not good. Let's try and avoid these traps. Whoop! And let's keep going. I'm perfect. And hopefully we should be able to do this. <laughs> this is actually pretty hard for us. And there we go. Oh, making it back is going to be very challenging. Let me just take out every single one of the items without truly checking to see what they are. And hopefully we should be set. Let's just keep going. I'm perfect. Good. Yes! <laughs> we should have done that at the beginning. Just run through and hope you don't die. But he has given us some security cameras that should be pretty good in checking out to make sure no one else comes and steal these items. There we go. And let me go ahead and start spawning these things and let's go and see what we got. So the first one is a mutation of a creeper and a golem. Cool. I think we have some protection now. Let me do the next one, which is a guardian and a golem. <laughs> This is so crazy. So now we have a giant one-eyed golem. Ah, this is way better than I could have ever expected. And let me also take out the last two spawners, which I think are friendly mobs again, which is the mutant iron golem that has definitely been cheated in. And then the hacker has finally made a slime golem. <laughs> we have so many varieties now. Hopefully the ultimate will have some items to go ahead and test them out. 
And let's start spawning the rest of these items, which is an arrow TNT, which I'm going to go ahead and do right now. And let's go see what happens. Villager, stand back. It's going to be pretty bad. Ah, that was awful. Okay, I think it's an instant kill arrow. No wonder we died so quick. And I'm guessing the next few items are going to be pretty crazy as well. Let me do the house TNT, which I'm going to spawn there. And let's go and light it. And perfect. And let's just back off. It's going to work. Oh, there we go. I think we're all set. And right inside, there's some items that we can probably go ahead and check out later. But it's a very basic house that definitely works. Let me go and try out the troll TNT, which I think I've seen before. If you go ahead and light it, it will just pretty much just jump around and blow up in a random direction. Ah, right in front of us. Even though we spawned it right around there, it just decided to destroy us as well. Let me spawn this fake lava. I'm perfect. And I think when it's fake, it means it does the opposite. It does. It will go ahead and give us fire resistance and regeneration. So now we should be set to go ahead and test out a few more items and be completely safe. How about we go ahead and do the bunker buster. And let me spawn that right there. Oh, <laughs> we completely messed up. It's gone ahead and taken our wonderful lava with it. And has blown up all the way down to bedrock. Oh, what a crazy day. Maybe we can go ahead and test out the next few, which I'm guessing we're almost done. And then the final one is going to be a wonderful ultimate. Let me spawn this one right there. Let's go ahead and light it. And maybe this diamond TNT will give us something special. Whoa! It's turned our whole world into diamonds. Even all the water. Okay, we're now one of the richest people ever. Now we won't even be bothered about the rest. So let me do the windmill. And let's go and do this. Whoa! Okay, the hacker has gone ahead and made some live structures. This is the craziest thing yet. Um, I'm actually looking forward to figuring out what the next few are going to be. Especially if now that the structures are moving, we should be ready. Let me do this one right around here. There's apparently some sort of boat. I'm going to spawn it right there. And good. Whoop! I, I think we're inside. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Okay, let me write something in. So I wrote in 70, and I think it means it's going to drive 70 blocks forward. But it might hit this mountain, so it might blow up. It's going to work? No! Nope. Oh, it did blow up! <laughs> but it was moving! Okay, I'm going to get have to get out of here. Hopefully the next few won't blow up on us. Let me do the cinema, which I'm going to spawn right there. Let's light it. And there we go! Oh, I think there's a movie on. Let's make our way through. Let's head to the cinema room. And let's go see what movie it is. Hopefully it's something really cool like The Avengers. Um, quickly, I think it's about to start. So it's um, two trees. Oh, and there's a snowman. He's heading towards the middle. And then a giant UFO comes and takes him away. <laughs> this is one of the coolest live structures I've ever seen. And there we go. Finally, we're at the end. Well, I guess now I'm ready to figure out what the last two are, which I'm guessing the fake water bucket is something we don't want. Yep, it definitely isn't. And there we go. Fully destroyed by poisonous water. And then the final one is the mill, which I'm guessing I'm going to spawn right around here. I'm hoping the village is going to like it if we spawn them all around together. Let me do this one right here. I'm perfect. Oh, and it's taking it behind us. And I think it should be a live structure right in front. There we go. So this meal will go ahead, grind up all our weed and make some flour and some wonderful cakes. Do you know what? I'm looking forward now to figuring out what the ultimate has. So let's quickly rush over and let's go and see if everything's all right. Sadly though, we didn't really have any mobs to fight. So I'm guessing we can throw these items down and we should be all right. Hacker, that was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Let me just go ahead and give you everything back and we should be ready to jump into the ultimate and hopefully we should be set. Well, let's go see what challenges he has and we should be in for surprise. Ah, oh, there's just loads of gold everywhere. Okay, this is not bad whatsoever. But I have noticed there are so many items to test out. So let me quickly do them as fast as we can and then we'll be done. And we can let the villager know of exactly what happened down here. Let's head up. I'm perfect. Let me put on my crown so now that we look like an ultimate ourselves and then we'll be ready to go ahead and fight off every single mob. Let me throw on our chameleon outfit and let's go see what happens. Let's go and see. Ah, we turn invisible. Okay, I wonder what else we have. So we'll go ahead, make us invisible 
and then we will have some wonderful armor effects that should be pretty good for us. Let me go ahead and make everyone so much happier by spawning a fire pit, as well as some stocks with MC Naveed on it! <laughs> okay, as we're invisible now, we should be able to go ahead and see ourselves set, and then we can watch everything happen around us. I think this is a great way of pranking everyone. Let me take out the next few items that we should go ahead and do by putting the burning stake right next to the noob and throwing inside a skeleton corpse. Oh, this wither skeleton is so evil. And let me do the final one, which is the gibbet, which I'm going to throw in this one, the stray skeleton. And there we go. We're fully set. And let me not end it here. Let me go ahead and do the mutant creeper. And perfect. Let's turn invisible. <laughs> no, he still sees us. Okay, maybe I can go ahead and make things better if we try and take him towards the golems. And we should be all right. Golems, I need your help. No, he's blowing everything up. Okay, let's take him all the way over here to these mutant nine golems. And let's go see what happens. There we go. Slowly by slowly, they'll start to blow him up. <laughs> and there we go. Perfect! I think we're all set. Whoa! What a crazy explosion. Let me spawn the rest of these items and hopefully this should work out for us. Let me do the mutant snow golem. That's going to be a helper to us. And then Baraka the sun chief. And perfect! Yes! <laughs> Look at them all go! This is going to be one of the quickest battles ever. And perfect! Let me go ahead and end it off with the mutant skeleton. Hopefully this should work. And perfect. I think this is going to be one of the easiest battles we've ever had. Whoa! He's throwing him around. Go on, creepers. Get him. Whoa, these creeper golems are one of the most useless ones yet. And I can see there are so many cool items. Well, I know that these mobs aren't going to disappear. So let me do the defense bunker. And let me go ahead and do this right there. Perfect. Now we should be ready to go ahead and jump in and have everything pretty much set up for us. But sadly, I've still got a few more items to test out. So let me go ahead and make my way out and let's go see if these work. I'm going to go ahead and try out the ice crystal on one of the villagers. Perfect. It's going to work. Yes, it freezes him. <laughs> this is really awesome. And the earth talisman will go ahead and we'll be able to pretty much right click items and throw them around. See, I told you they would work. They're one of the coolest things yet. But we're now down to one of our last two things. Let me just go ahead and focus on these and then we can enjoy everything else later. Let me do the moderate house, which I'm going to spawn right here. And then I'm going to choose something we haven't seen in a while. Let me choose this one, which is the acacia house. And I think it should be spawning right in front of us. Oh, there it is. So it is going to take a while to go ahead and spawn up. And there we go. We are all ready to go ahead, look inside, and enjoy this wonderful moderate house as much as we can. But we have to hurry up. We're running out of time. So let me go and spawn the advanced chicken coop, which I'm also going to spawn right here. And let me go ahead and do this. Let's go and see. I'm pretty sure there's going to be so many chickens up above that will go ahead and lay eggs for us, and then we'll be pretty much done. Yep, I think I see them up above, so hopefully we should be set. Well guys, it's been so wonderful today going ahead, turning invisible, and enjoying every single one of these other items. I can't believe it. Hopefully now all of these pros and noobs can go ahead and move in with us, and they should be safe. So guys, I wish you some of the crazy Minecraft video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below button is red, and don't forget to go ahead and press the notifications bell. And guys, I'll see you all very soon. Peace out.